skills and dope lyrical coasting, relying on talent, not marketing and promotion. What is good? YouTube WWE Universe, what is happening, guys? Raw just ended. I am your boy, Chris Peeps. We are live right now on YouTube. Thank you for joining in, guys. Um, if you're not, if you're just joining in for the first time, thanks for joining in. This is the live WWE Monday Night Raw, um, September 18th, 2007. The Go Home Show to the No Mercy Pay Per View this upcoming Sunday, guys. This is all the results, reactions, HD highlights, review, and I'll open the phone line as well. Let me pop out the live chat room guys let's see what's going on there create highlights while live is that new with youtube it's popping up um all right i got the live chat open what is up quincy kisner what's going on thanks for joining in jake hudson what is good arcane my main man the moderator in the chat abel de la cruz in the chat as well what is good guys what did you guys think of monday night raw tonight guys um as far as like a go home show for No Mercy, I mean, why would why would you end a go home show for No Mercy with you know Jason Jordan as the main match and now you know it's gonna be Jason Jordan versus the Miz for the Intercontinental Championship? I don't think that hyped anyone up to watch No Mercy. I don't know if anyone else doesn't want to see Jason Jordan facing the Miz. I, I think maybe Jeff or Matt Hardy would have been better. Um, than that. I don't know what's up with that, guys. So anyway, guys, put what you rated Monday Night Raw in the chat room out of 10. We do it out of 10 rating. Um, I'll give you a rating in a little bit. And I will open the phone line in like 10 minutes, guys. I just want to go over everything. And just because Monday Night Raw was not that great tonight, guys, does not mean my Chris Pape show for tonight will not be glorious. Where's the freaking... Um, so that does not mean the Chris Peep Show live on YouTube right now will not be glorious. No, I won't be wow, that was mad loud. Sorry, guys, for blowing out your eardrums. We have JD in the chat. What is good, JD? So um, I'm going to add. So this is why it's going to be a fun show. We had all this drama going on the past couple days. The, sh the freaking show is growing bigger and bigger. We're getting more and more people. Um, Apple Daily Crew said it was a 3 out of 10. Whack as F. Which, wow, that's pretty... Yeah, I mean, I didn't think it would be that bad rated tonight. But um, as far as a go-home show, yeah, I thought it wasn't really that successful. Especially Jason Jordan at the end, facing the Miz for the IC Championship. It should have been Strowman at the end, or Lesnar at the end, or... Uh, I don't know. It was a little all over the place. We only had, what, five matches tonight, guys? So, like I was saying, guys, I'm going to add another person tonight to the list of peeps, the bad list of peeps. I'm adding one more YouTuber to it tonight, guys. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, you know your boy Chris Peeps had to add someone to the list of peeps this Monday. So, I'm going to do that. After I open the phone lines, I'm going to add someone to the list of peeps. And it's going to be, you just made the list. It's going to be... All good from YouTube. Where is my clip? You just made the list. So I will be doing that tonight as well as taking your freaking live phone calls, guys. I'll open the phone line in like six, seven minutes, guys. We have new subscribers. Aging Silver, thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed yet, go down below. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button on this video, guys. Um, it'll come up live that says you subscribed. We also have the live Streamlab donations, guys. Um, what did JD say? The Miz has to have his boyfriend's uh, kit kiss his ass again. We had Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas, the Miz Taraj in the match. Um, that's when Miz got involved, so it would have been Jeff Hardy if Miz, Miz didn't get involved, but then it, Jason Jordan was able to take advantage of that and end up winning the match. Uh, JD really doesn't like the Miz. The Miz JD, I'm sorry, but the Miz is awesome. Except the not versus Jason Jordan. That's going to be really boring. Hopefully the Miz could help him bring his freaking his wrestling game up. 
Oh, so yeah, what else is going on, guys? Like I said, I'll open the phone line in a couple minutes. Raw was live from San Jose, California tonight. John Cena didn't make it. He was on the plane back from Japan. Uh, he didn't have time. What else? Oh, we have the live Streamlab donations, guys. That's what I forgot to tell you. Down below in the description, and I'll pop up the list right now, our donation list. We have, you could hijack the show with your message. Um... Get a do uh, you know any amounts of donations. A lot of them are under a cup of coffee. You'll get the video package with it. Bunch of funny ones on there, guys. Um, and as you can see, I have the donation goal above. We're at five dollars and nineteen cents, which is a little weak, guys. Um, I actually, I, I'll, I'll get. Let me go back to the raw screen quick. <clears throat> um, with all the shit that happened, it was going to be a lawsuit with the whole situation, and I ended up being a nice guy and saying, listen, if you tell everyone you lied and apologize, I didn't even say apologize, you just tell everyone that you lied about what I said, uh, I'd drop it. So he did, he told everyone he lied, I dropped it, but now the lawyer, if he would have went with the case, he would have got 10% of what we won, but now that I didn't go with the case, now I owe him 500 bucks. So right now this freaking show is costing me money and I'm not making money. I'm losing money from doing the show and I'm trying to do it for all you pro wrestling fans out there. A place to go after Raw, after SmackDown. I've been doing it live every week, guys. So please, guys, support me to do the show. If, I, if I'm going to be losing money with lawyer fees, I, I'm not going to be able to do it. I mean, it would be stupid for me to do the show. But if you guys can help this freaking hijack the stream guys do the live donations down below streamlabs.com slash chris peeps you can use a credit card whatever you want and donate guys i really need it and i really would appreciate it any amount helps guys <coughs> so that's that situation and i'll add the per i'll add a person to the list of peeps in a little bit after i pop open the phone lines let's see what's going on in the chat room um yes that's another thing i forgot to say um rip bobby the brain heenan we saw a bunch of memorials tonight on raw over it um a great announcer great manager um fun you know funny guy so um you know, that sucks. You know, it always sucks when someone passes away. So that made Raw a little gloomy tonight. Um, we had Kurt Angle kicking off Raw tonight. Um, we had Strowman and Lesnar on a live video between Michael Cole and them. So they weren't in the same ring. But then, so I guess Lesnar wasn't probably there. But Strowman was there. He came out, ended up attacking Enzo Amore. We got the thank you Strowman chance for beating up Enzo. And then Neville doing the red arrow to him. The main event was the six-pack challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. I like that they put the IC title as the main match since our Universal Champion is not there. Um, but I... Uh, I don't know how I feel about Jason Jordan winning. I, that was the last person I wanted to win. I'd rather have Curtis Axel or Bo Dallas win instead of him. Um, and then we had the Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff. Uh, I, we know we've seen Jeff versus Miz for the IC title already. So maybe it was Matt's turn. Maybe it would have been good if Matt was the one who won that match. Let me know what you guys think in the chat room. Um, Jake Hudson rated Raw tonight a 5 out of 10. So I think I'm closer to the 5 out of 10. Um, if it was a regular Raw, I'd probably be like a 6 out of 10. But since it was a go-home show, No Mercy is coming up live this Sunday on pay-per-view on WWE Network. And I'll have the live review show after that, and it's going to kick ass. I'm telling you, there's going to be mad people joining that show. And I'll have the my live prediction show. I do I do it before pay-per-views on Friday or Saturday. I do that. That's a show that kicks ass, too. So the Chris Peep channel is going to be taking off insanely. It's so smash subscribe if you have not done it yet, guys. Hit the notifications. Um, let me see what else. Um, yeah, so Abel De La Cruz, 3 out of 10. Jake Hudson is talking about a pillow wrestling match of me versus him as pillows fighting each other in a wrestling match. I told him, I said, as long as you join the Raw review tonight, Jake, you can do whatever you want. I mean, just no homo. I mean, come on, man. So that's all good. Um... Yes, J Jared is pissed off. Kevin Dunn sc screwing up the writing tonight for Monday Night Raw. Um, Jared, I know you probably want to call in, which I'll open the phone line in like literally three minutes. Um, if you still want to put, um, I don't know, you got to put, I'll put your rating in the chat of what you thought about Raw. Arcane holding it down. We're, I'm surprised we are not seeing a bunch of haters. What do we got over here? A cup of haters. 
a couple haters in the chat room, but we're not. So Arcane's doing his job right now. Let's. Can I? I, I don't want to create live highlights. What the hell is that? So, oh yeah, we got a bunch of people watching from the beginning. Couple people watching live in the chat room, guys. You're gonna want to stay live in the chat room tonight because, like I said, the show's gonna go off the walls a little bit tonight. It's pretty much gonna. The show is gonna. Burn it! Pretty much gonna burn down the Chris Peep sh live Chris Peep show tonight, and Jake says f Kurt Hawkins. So let me just get by of what I was gonna say, guys. Um, again, smash subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends about the channel. Let's get this channel going. It is for the peeps, by the peeps. Um, this is the place to hang out after Monday Night Raw at 11.10, after SmackDown at 10.01, every Monday, every Tuesday, after the pay-per-views at 11.10, every Sunday when they have pay-per-views, and the pay-per-view prediction show on Friday or Saturday. I'll let you guys know. Live stream lab donations down below, guys. Help me out. If you do the $5 donation, you'll become on the good list. The peeps of peeps, which I have here. I don't want to mix it up. We have all of Chris Peeps' real people who donate and who have been there. And my main men right here. We have the $5 donation or more will get you on this list. The good list. And I will type it in, man. Um, Shamir Blount, Arcane360, Tim Windsor. And you could be next, guys. Streamlab donations down below. They're the same as the Twitch donations. They just switch names. So you could use that account too. Use your credit card, debit card, whatever you want to use. Or get it through PayPal. It's really quick. Opens in a new window. Let's get back to the raw live screen. And um, I already put the person on the list of peeps. I pre-did it tonight, so we're good to go. So... You're going to want to tune in. I'm going to be adding someone tonight. You guys probably know who it's going to be. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, SmackDown Live tomorrow night. They said it's going to be Corbin versus Styles for the United States Championship. Uh, and then also they just they just added Bailey to the Fatal 4-Way match at No Mercy. So now it's a Fatal 5-Way match with Bailey in it. That was really a poor poor way of bringing Bailey back and just throwing her into this freaking uh, bunch of girls i mean why don't you have like you know every every female wrestler in nxt smackdown and raw have one match together just put them together you know and freaking crazy then we had um the whole enzo situation braun Strowman randomly beating up enzo that had nothing to do with his lesnar angle that was just crazy and then neville versus um it was a malik and then um Setting that up for no mercy, they'll be the, you know, the cruiserweight championship. Um, did Nia Jax beat Alexa Bliss? What did I write? Oh, um, what did I say? Banks comes out to stop Bliss from leaving. Nia Jax pins and wins. Then Banks comes out attacking Nia Jax. Then Bailey comes out, and uh, Alexa was trying to be friends with them, holding up the hands. And then Sasha and Bailey attacked Alexa Bliss. The bumping monkey shit, the, um, what is it called? Puppy monkey baby. Puppy monkey baby. I wanted to, I want to make this donation so bad I haven't got to it yet. Um, I think I should open the phone lines. What else did I have to add to that? I have the slide refreshed. I have the sh live stream live donations up and ready to go, locked and loaded. Down in the description, guys, please help me out, donate, or you, you probably won't see my show in a couple of weeks you'll be like hey whatever happened to um chris peeps live smackdown raw and pay-per-view review show on youtube whatever happened to him did is he all right um yeah he's in thousands of dollars of debt to try to put on a show for everyone that no one helped donate with which a bunch of people do help donate i appreciate everything you donated that it got me that far this far already guys but now i'm um, in the negatives with the lawyer fees so Please, guys, try to help me out. I wish Shmir Blant was here. He always hooks a brother up. He's the man. Or Tim Windsor. But we'll have the live SmackDown review tomorrow night, right after SmackDown, 10 one That's all I had to say. I'm going to add someone to the list of peeps. And then I had to say about the lawyer costing me money. I need donations. Need them, need them, need them. I need money. Do I have a ring? A freaking... Um, uh, do I have any... Oh, yeah, I need the money. I could play this audio clip. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. 
Yeah, here comes the money, Shane O'Mac, which that's a donation too, guys. There's a bunch of funny donations. You guys are going to want to see them. So let's pop the phone line open, guys. I promised you guys to open the phone line. We are live right now on YouTube. I am your boy, Chris Peeps. It is September 18, 2017. It is the Raw before No Mercy. It's the Raw Go Home, Go Home Show. Six-pack main challenge, main event. Um, all the results... HD highlights, live reactions, live review, and now we have the call-in phone number. I'm gonna pop open right now. I'm gonna. The chains are gonna be off, guys. Let's open a brand new window here. Let's pop open Google Hangouts, which I have a feeling this might not be that great of idea opening the phone lines to everyone, but um, the chain. Wow, that was the fastest ever. I think it's JD, I think. How come I can't... Hey, what's up? What's going on? Uh, is this JD? Yeah, what's going on, Chris? Oh, hey, what's happening? Yeah, I kept clicking uh, the green button and it wasn't answered, but then it finally picked you up. Okay. But I was just going to say, give me one second. I could hear myself echoing. If you could just turn the stream down a little bit, I was going to tell everyone that you have to no turn problem. the stream down so there's no feedback. And then the, the stream's a couple seconds behind, too, guys. So, um, what did you think of Raw tonight? You hated it? I hated it. I mean, it was once again showing that Kevin Dunn doesn't have the balls to book a solid show, and it continues to be a piece of clunky-ass shit, to say the least. I mean, they're just... They're just going backwards more and more and more. What, um, I mean, was there anything that you liked about tonight's show? Let's start off with that. Yeah, the triple threat, obviously, with Dean and uh, Seth versus the club. However, the club was given at least some bit of time to work with versus the Bar Boys tonight. That was actually one of the few highlights of the night. Uh, the women's match between Sasha, or not Sasha, Nia and Alexa was clunky. I mean, it was six and a half minutes and it was all right, but then you have to throw Bailey a bone and say, okay, Bailey's been off television for at least a month and a half, almost five, six weeks, however, and oh, okay, let's put her now involved in the five-pack, turn the match from a fatal four-way into a fatal five-way, however, mind you. And of course, Emma once again bitches up, it's not fair, I should not be allowed to compete, blah, 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 blah. She's like Enzo with her tweets. You know what? Just like Enzo, however, Emma, shut the hell up, please. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Your yap. It seems like they, um, they're they trying to add as many women as they can to the match. I mean, who are we missing? We're missing, what, Charlotte Flair, and that's it, right? Yeah, Charlotte Flair or Becky Lynch, whatever you want to talk about. The thing is, though, they know that eventually, however, they're going to probably maybe spin this off. And my friends, uh, I was just talking to my friend Aaron just now. I mean, he and I said the same thing. I think what they're sending up for is a heel turn between Sasha and Bailey. I think Sasha's going back to being a heel. I think at some point it's going to happen. Maybe this Sunday it could happen. And then if Nia wins, I think she holds the title for a while till Oscar comes in. And then Oscar makes a big statement right away and says to Nia, guess what? I'm coming for that title. It could happen before the end of the year it could happen early next year we'll have to wait and see yeah that would yeah. that would definitely be the right way of doing it if the way you said um but i have a feeling that they may try to rush oscar and i'm getting feedback i'm like i hear buzzing is that your phone no that's not my phone oh um yeah i mean that would be the proper way to do it all i mean I'm trying to think what else I have to say about the whole woman's... So you're saying Nia Jax wins, and then... Oh, that's right. We get the, we get the heel turn. Yeah. Which that yeah, everyone's and been saying about the heel turn for a while, so maybe it is coming at No Mercy, where, you know, yeah. Sasha turns on Bailey. That's what you're thinking? Yep, I think that's the way they go, however. And uh, before I continue on, Howard, just to let you know, if, if you're a big football fan, Howard, the G-Men lost again 24-10 to to the Lions tonight. So the Lions and Matthew Stafford beat the G-Men as Eli and company lose yet again. So they're own 2 now, mind you. Um, as far as the beginning goes, Howard, once again, like I said, Howard, in the chat, Howard, I mean, I am... As you know, I am sick to death of you-know-who and his boys, however. And once again, it just shows that he doesn't have the balls to fight this week. He has to have his little boyfriend's fight for him because he doesn't have the temerity to do it on his own, however, mind you. <laughs> and uh, it's just, I mean, I am sick of him. He's like, oh, you're a bastard, however, of Kurt Angle, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, Miss, let's just, why don't you take the balls out of your wife's little purse, however, mind you, and grow a set yourself, Howard, because you haven't done anything since winning that IC title, Howard. Now you're going to be defending it on Sunday, but of course you'll probably have a chance to retain it because your boyfriends, Axel and Dazzle, will help you, and once again, they'll find a way to put the screws into Jason Jordan, however, mind you. I mean, I mean, Jordan goes from being the opening match last week to the main event this week. I mean, like I said, I don't know who the hell is writing this shit. And it's Kevin Dunn, I know that for a fact, but again, they are continuing to just write stale television. They should have done, like you said, Brock and Braun to be the headliner tonight to close out the show. No, they pissed all over that, literally. And the Roman promo this week wasn't as great as I thought it was. It was clunky. Yeah, the, yeah. what do you call it? That was, you got to turn the stream down. I keep hearing myself back and forth. Um, oh, okay. What do you call it? Um, it, yeah, that was that was a, a promo from JD to The Miz. I mean, JD, you should really be the one wrestling The Miz because that was a good promo towards The Miz. And, yep. you know... I, I mean, I like him. I don't like the Jason Jordan situation with it. We have Mr. Sniper in the room. What's up, Mr. Sniper? Um, yeah, I still hear myself buzzing. That's weird. You're the only person this happens to me with. Um, what else did you say? Oh, they should have had Strowman and Lesnar on the end or something better. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they should have. And like I said, the Roman promo was clunky tonight. They oh, yeah. just they yeah. did not they didn't anything right tonight. The Gold Dust Bray Wyatt thing wasn't all that great. The Neville Metal League thing was not really all that strong. Like I think more and more they're pissing the cruiserweights away like nobody's business. I mean, this went under five minutes, and then the whole uh, Kurt Hawkins Apollo Cruz thing. Did we really need to see that shit? No, it was two minutes of my life. I'll never get back. So, I mean, they just, they really did not do anything right tonight at all. The only thing they did right was the triple threat, which was great. And then maybe the Braun thing, uh, Braun Brock thing was okay. It would have been nice to see them have a banter in the ring and go to Brawl again. But no, they kept them apart. And then, like I said, the Roman Cena thing was just just a total fail this week. However, Cena being away, however, hopefully Cena shows up maybe tomorrow night and types up No Mercy for one final time, however. But with him coming back, however, obviously they're going to probably keep him off television until Sunday. So this week, however, out of the three weeks they've done the Cena-Roman thing, however, this was an epic fail. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah. this time with um, the Roman Reigns promo, all it was was... Um, it was Roman Reigns using John Cena's promo to have his promo. So technically, he didn't even do a promo. He had John Cena do the promo for him. Um, mm -hmm. It was all the video footage when John Cena talked about The Rock never being there, and he's a movie star and everything. So, yep. and then we, like you said, we the Bray Wyatt versus Dustin Rhodes, Gold Dust. Um, yep. That was kind of pointless, and then. Uh, we get we get to see Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt again, except it's not the Demon this time. But it's the yeah, same but... match from SummerSlam is going to happen, so that it, that's kind of stale. Yeah, it is. And like I said, next week, how are you going in Ontario, California? And obviously the big question is, you've got two weeks to build up Hell in a Cell. We're going to see what happens tomorrow night. Of course, AJ and Corbin, of course, should be a great match. Uh, let me ask you this, and I talked about it a little bit today on the show, and Anil made, uh, made some comments about this too. What do you think about Starcade coming back to Greensboro in November around Thanksgiving weekend? I like it. I think it's great. Yeah, I saw, I saw the stuff on Twitter about it, and I saw that it was going to be the Hardy Boys versus um, Gold, you know, uh, I keep hearing my voice. Dustin Rhodes and Cody Rhodes with him. Mm -hmm. That's true. Something like that. Yeah, I th I think so. I'll have to double check and confirm it. But I know that when they're in Greensboro, I think they're going to have uh, the Rock and Roll Express, Matt Hardy, and Ricky Steamboat there. But uh, it should be a good show. You got two steel cage matches: Charlotte and Natty, and of course Nakamura and Mahal. But uh, tomorrow SmackDown should be interesting. What happens in uh, the Warriors' hometown of Oakland? Of course, I know Kevin Owens is going to have a lot to exp a lot of uh, things on his uh, play tower dealing with Shane McMahon. I know Stephanie will probably confirm at some point. Maybe tomorrow we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, Hell in the Cells in two weeks. Uh, so I mean, we'll see if they have a good build up this week. However, for Hell in a Cell, but last week was interesting. What went on in Vegas, of course, with Vince being there. Uh, as far as the card Sunday goes, however, I mean, obviously the two matches I'm looking forward to, of course, is Brock and Braun, and of course Cena and Rome. But other than that, this is just a weak, weak lineup to say the least. However, and uh, one last thing I will say, however, and I did talk about it today on my show. 
Uh, I got to say, the one thing they also did right that was pretty good tonight, the tribute to Bobby Heenan, one of the best of all time. It's a shame we've lost him, however, but he will never be forgotten. Yes, definitely. I agree with you. And once again, you have all the good points, J.D. I appreciate you calling in, brother. Yes, and I will talk to you Sunday after No Mercy. Hopefully it'll be a good No Mercy. We'll have to wait and see what happens to them. Enjoy yourself. Definitely, yeah. Tune in after No Mercy and then um, Friday or Saturday of the live predictions and odds shows. If you do it Saturday, I'll get in. Friday night night might be a tough one because I'm going to my high school football game. But if you do it Saturday night, I'll try to call in before the midnight hour. All right. I'll I'll post the video and let you know when it's going to be. But um, thanks for calling in, J.D., and I'll talk to you Sunday. All right. Sounds good. All right. Later. Um, yeah, so that was JD saying, you know, he didn't really like Raw that much. Um, give me one second before the next person calls in. Um, I noticed he did mention someone's name who is a name that could not be mentioned on the channel again. Um, I guess maybe JD has not seen the videos of the drama that's been going on on Twitter and YouTube. I know he doesn't have Twitter, so he wouldn't know that. But um, my previ- my Ivan, I put up another video a couple nights ago of the, the drama that happened, the whole lawsuit situation, the name that we cannot name, which I'm going to be adding one person to the list of peeps tonight. I'm not going to tell you who it is yet, but you better stay tuned because it's going to be off the wall. I'm adding someone to the list of peeps. Obviously, I have to do it. Why would I not add someone um, with all this drama and beef going on? So let's go back into um, – so check that check that video out, J.D. I have a couple videos, um, you know, on my channel there, uh, youtube.com slash Chris Peeps. Smash the subscribe button. Hit notifications. If you hit notifications, it will tell you every time it went live. And I went live with the drama video. Chris Peeps addresses the drama video on my YouTube. Smash the like button down below, guys. Um, that's all I really need to say, guys. I need the live stream lab donations down below in the description, guys. Um, you know, even if you can only donate a dollar, guys, every dollar will help, guys. Um... Unless you want to bury me in debt, guys. If you want to bury me in debt and just see the show go away, then that's probably what's going to happen eventually, which is it's sad. It really is sad that I have to pay for other people's stupid mistakes. It's really sad. Jeez. So what's going on? Uh, the uh, You could call back. You could call in now again, guys. Um, just make sure you mute the live stream in the background. I heard I heard myself in the live stream. So either you had your speaker too close to your microphone. If you're calling from a cell phone, they're automatically set not to do it. Unless it was on speakerphone maybe and it was getting feedback. But you have to keep don't go on speakerphone on your cell phone. Mute the stream in the background when you call in and it'll be nice and clear. What is going on? We have Shamir we have Ivy Pratchard just joined in the chat. We have Shamir Blount just joined in the chat chat he was going to sleep because he was tired but someone pissed him off so bad that he refuses to miss this show tonight thank you for the support Shamir Brown I appreciate it and like I said if you don't know about the drama you can watch the video about it it was fine and I'm in debt now because of it because of someone else's mistake I'm in debt because of it so please help me out live stream of donations hijack the show get your message across the screen let me see what else is saying WWE hasn't had a good go home show in ages I want to say the last decent go-home show is probably the SmackDown go-home show, um, which I think tomorrow night's SmackDown is going to probably beat Raw's show tonight. I think it's almost a guarantee that'll happen. Um, and then what else did Ivy Pratchett say? Any segment that makes Cena look like a complete hypocrite is a win for me. As far as the Roman Reigns promo, where it kind of did make Cena look like a hypocrite, but... Um, Cena's still loyal, and he still gave everyone a heads up, and he didn't leave the fans. He's still giving the fans what they want before he does switch completely over to movies. Um, for, he's just more loyal than The Rock. He, he's just – he's more – he, he you could tell he's more of like he likes wrestling more than The Rock um, and more than money. So he, he it's kind of like that's what that's how I feel about him. So the phone line is back open, guys. If anyone wants to call in live, guys, call in. Let me know what they thought about Raw. The phone number is 631-319-7080. It's a regular Google Voice number. It is a local number from New York. You guys could call in. It's free. Just call in. Be live on the show. So let's see what else did they say? Are you looking? Are you rooting for Roman at Hell in the Cell? Um, you mean at No Mercy for Roman versus John Cena? Um, I'm. I think I'm. Vote, I think I'm rooting for uh, John Cena. Here it is, right here. You can see on the screen. 
I'm uh, rooting for John Cena. I, I do not want anything to do with Roman Reigns. I think he, just the way he's acted lately too, just put me off even more about him. I, I think he he kind of, I think his career is almost over. I, I don't know, for some reason I feel that way. What else? Don't assume my gender, Arcane. <laughs> LOL. Um, what else did you guys say? Every Everyone's a robot. And uh, the pillow, hardcore pillow wrestling match, great. <clears throat> Triple H wanted The Rock gone from WWE. Yeah, that's true. That whole situation happened. I, I, I was watching about that, too. Um, Yeah, that's right. Glorious. No, I won't give in. I won't give in till I'm victorious. And I will defend. Fuck you, you know who. Oh, my God. Shamir Blount with the two hundred dollar glorious donation that with a big F U to you know who. Oh my gosh. I mean that that's that's how to shake the internet. That's how to shake the Chris Peep show. That is so glorious. We have to Oh my god, that was amazing. We have to go to the good list and and show that he is he is our number one supporter. Number one su donator on the Chris Peep show um and he said F you that's what he just said he said that's right for what you did which I will add someone to the list of peeps tonight number one donator Shamir Blount with a $200 glorious donation freaking amazing you, you are the man um so like I said the phone line's still open so if Shamir, if you want to call in, or Arcane, or anyone else, you guys call in, let me know. I know that Raw was not that exciting, it was not that great, it didn't end on like, uh, it didn't end on like, oh, I want to see what happens next, and what happens next is going to be No Mercy, it's not going to be Raw next week, which they've been trying to hype it up because of, they're competing with football, like JD was talking about football, um... Uh, maybe SmackDown has a better chance of hyping people up to watch the pay-per-view. So maybe maybe JD might have something saying John Cena could be at SmackDown to hype the No Mercy pay-per-view. That might be a possibility now, now that I'm thinking about it, because Raw certainly didn't hype it tonight. Um, but I'm going to go over everything that happened, all the results right now, um, out of the one out of five matches. Um, I write my notes all the time. I have a full page, and then I also have a little bit on the top back page, too. So, there was a lot of things that happened at Raw tonight, um, but there was only five matches. Normally, there's seven, and there's also seven on SmackDown, too, which is weird how they do that. So, um, yeah, Shamir Blount, that definitely made your position way clear on all the drama that happened. Um... And that is going to take a dent. That money is going straight to the lawyer fees so I don't go, end up being in collections because of it. So I appreciate you bailing me out. Um, This will make the show last for another two weeks right there. So I, <laughs> you're the man. I appreciate it. Um, Yeah, so I'm still going to add someone to list of people. So what was I going to say? If you're just joining now, let's see what's going on, on YouTube. Wow, a bunch of people watching from the beginning. Um, couple, bunch, bu decent amount of people still watching live in the chat room. Um, I could not do it without you guys, so thank you for staying in there. Um, I was going to show you guys what the Streamlab donations look like, but Shamir Blount just showed you how to hijack the show, what the Streamlab donations are all about. Um, I'll play one freebie for Shamir Blount just because this is his favorite right here. I'll give him an extra because he is the man. This is, if you donate exactly $2.69, you will get this donation. Who will see it? No mercy. This is a test donation for dollar. <clears throat> Yes, that is the Alexa Bliss back that ass up donation. That is compliments of Shamir Blount, guys. He did the glorious donation, so he's giving you all these right now. Thank him in the chat room, guys. Um... And then we're going to have to play quick, too, be, while we're not getting phone calls, which you could call in, guys, whenever you could interrupt me and call in whenever you want, 631-319-7080. Um, but while we're waiting, we'll do the what happened to Vince McMahon tonight and probably what happened when he got headbutted the other night. Is Vince going to show up on SmackDown tomorrow night? Well, here's the $2.22 donation of what happened with Vince and Kevin Dunn, as JD would say, tonight. 
I'm Vincent Kennedy <coughs> McMahon, and I just shit my pants. This is a test donation for dollar. So there it is, guys. Um, Arcane wants to call in after the list of peeps. Um, all right, so then I will. Let me run down everything that happened on Raw quick. Let me see if I can do it within like four minute period. Um, and then I will do the list of peeps, and then we'll take uh, a couple more callers after that. Um. Let me see what I got written down for my notes. Oh, that's what I was just going to say. If you just join in got now, guys, thank you for joining in. I am your boy, Chris Peeps. If you don't know who I am, all the first-time watchers, thanks for joining in. Everyone who watches every week and is always there live and in the chat, you guys, I couldn't do it without you guys. I appreciate everything. Um, don't let Shamir be the only donator, guys. Um, give him a hand donating for my goal. Live stream lab donations down below. Smash the subscribe button. Hit notifications. You do not want to miss when I go live. It's always important when I go live, guys. So smash the like button down below. We'll try to get 20 likes tonight. Smash subscribe. Um, yes, like I said, Raw had... Let me pop the chat back open and see what you guys are saying. So Kurt Angle kicked off Raw. Um... Talking about Cena vs. Reigns, Lesnar vs. Strowman, The Miz interrupts, Maurice is at home because she's pregnant, um, The Miz talks about uh, being a good father and saying Kurt Angle's not a good father, Jason Jordan comes out, that's when Kurt says a six-pack six pack challenge for the main event for the... And it'll they'll face the for the IC title at No Mercy this Sunday coming up on uh, WWE Network. Then we have Angle backstage talking with Jason Jordan, saying how everyone's talking crap in the locker room about Jordan. Blah blah. blah. Then we have the first match, which was Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. Um, it was a non-title match, but if you have like cable vision or maybe any cable, um, under the description of Roy, you could probably go back and look at it. It said um, Alexa Bliss defends her title against Nia Jax for the Women's Championship, and that threw me off. I know we were talking about that in the live um, WWE Twitter chat, guys. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter, guys, follow me at Chris Peeps on Twitter. I'll follow you back, and then if you want to be part of the live uh, WWE Wrestling chat on Twitter, uh, tweet at me or direct message me, and I'll add you to that. That's where everyone from the show talks and hang, hangs out, so that's when they were saying, you know, it says nowhere else it was a title match, only on cable, and it wasn't a title match, um, and that's when, you know, J.D. said Bailey ended up coming out of nowhere, which is just terrible booking right there, um, then we had the second match, oh, I think, actually, I think there were six matches tonight, um, you can see Night Thought whoring it out in the chat. The chains are off with the Streamlab donations. Shamir with the glorious one, guys. But you guys could still donate even a dollar, guys. Anyone to help, please help the cause. Thank you. Um, Cesaro and Shane. This was the the triple threat tag team match, which JD enjoyed this. I think he said this was his favorite match tonight. Cesaro and Sheamus versus Gals and Anderson. Um... And then they came out, they threw promos about nostalgia, selfish, and Shield 2.0 comes out. So then that's when they made it a triple threat match. We had the commercial for Asuka coming to Raw soon. I hope it's not going to be at No Mercy. You know, we know the No Mercy commercial for for Sunday is Alexa Bliss with the Asuka mask on. So I don't know if that's saying she's going to come back then. And add another woman to the Fatal Five way now, so it'll be a, a six pack challenge again. Freaking crazy! That was the triple threat. The ref hit a three count, botched it with the breakup. Um, Sheamus pins Gallows and Anderson and wins. Where are the Hardys? The Hardys are in the six pack challenge as individual wrestlers, not as a tag team, with no broken gimmick. Um, Shamir said Oscar can't come back this Sunday. Um, yeah, okay, I guess she's still injured. Maybe that's why you said that. Um, we had Kurt Hawkins, his 115th time losing a match. Freaking hilarious. Apollo Crews beat him. Titus Worldwide. Um, and we had Michael Cole interviewing with Lesnar and Strowman. Um, the only good thing that came out of this was that um, Brock said, uh, no, 
Strowman said he's gonna he's gonna stop suplex he's gonna stomp suplex city down, and then um, Lesnar said you know or Heyman said he knows that he's gonna have to give you more than one suplex. So does that mean that Lesnar is actually gonna finally be wrestling for more than 20 minutes in a match? Hopefully, will this be an hour long match? That'll be amazing. That we want to see him wrestle more. Um, we never see him. I hope that is what that they were getting out of that. Um, and then Lesnar said thanks for chal- giving him a challenge. That's the only time he wants to do good and suplex city bitch. So that was that situation. Then we had Roman Reigns using the John Cena promo as his promo. John Cena didn't make it on a plane from Japan. Bray Wyatt versus Goldust. The whole Bray Wyatt Finn Balor feud. Again, we got I no mercy. Same thing as SummerSlam. Um, making Dustin Rhodes lose, which really bad. I, he should have won on that if he was going to be, you know, the Rhodes name. It needs a little prestige to it. That's when we had Enzo or More. Thank God Braun Strowman beat him up and attacked from behind. And then Neville came, did a red arrow to him. Then Neville faced Malik. was just a decent match. Neville won with the rings of Saturn. I'm almost done with this. And then Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez randomly got... Uh, uh, shown recognition for being a Latina actor, actress. I don't know where that came from. That was crazy. Then we had the six man tag, Elias Sampson. I hope I was hoping he would have won actually. He was in the ring singing. Jason Jordan, the Miztourage, the Hardys. Um, Jason Jordan pins Curtis Axel, making him number one well, making him face the Miz at No Mercy for the Intercontinental Championship. And then he was attacked after um and he's still a bastard child. That's what came out of that. So that was Raw in a nutshell, guys. Help, I'm Raw in a nutshell. Um, Burn it, down! it was pretty much, this was the Raw Go Home Show. <laughs> and there was definitely no... Ten. There was no perfect ten either. So let's get to this. You part. just made the list! Let's get to this part, guys. You guys have been waiting to see it. I'm not going to let you hang on anymore. I'm going to give you what you want to add someone to the infamous list of peeps. I know a lot of people are watching to see if I'm going to do it. See what he's going to do after a whole lawsuit and lawyers and talking trash, making stuff up about people, apologies, Freaking all this crap, guys! The what a what a crazy week we had. And you could watch the video. Go on my freaking YouTube channel, guys. If you haven't watched it, it was I think it was a 40-minute live video I made of Chris Peeps addressing the drama. I first addressed MC Tan Man One. I did not see him say anything about it, so I feel like I just made my point to him. So I'm not gonna stretch it out and put him on the list of peeps. So now that you guys know that, you kind of know what I'm narrowing down to and who I'm putting on the list of peeps. And then we'll take the phone calls right after I put the person on the list of peeps. What is going on? Who's this? Hello, you there? And <laughs> I guess they're trying to stop me from putting someone on the list of peeps. But I'm doing it anyway, guys. And because of legal reasons, we will have to change the person's name, guys. I'm sorry, this stinks, but we have to change a person's name. So we're gonna we're gonna come up with a name that is nothing like the person's name at all. So you guys have no clue what I'm talking about. We'll come up with a name that is it's like an asshole name, like a real like douchebag, real asshole, real asshole name we could come up with. And we could put that in the spot of, you know, the real person. This way, there, there's no more law issues with it. I, I can't think of a word to describe, like, totally different from what the person's name is. But to describe, like, just an asshole for what you did. Hmm. I'm going to think about that in a second, guys. So we'll get to the name later. But we'll just say why they're going to make the list of peeps tonight. The <laughs> ultimate fuckhead. Okay. Um, Kurt Hawkins. <clears throat> so, um, you know what happens when you go on, you go on a rant and you, you don't care about anyone else. You only care about yourself. You screw the world. They don't care. And 
you know, you're a badass, you know, your whole life you've been getting in trouble for running your mouth, and that's probably why you ended up coming to my show, trying to be my best friend to begin with, um, because another show you probably had the same issue like that, um, you know what happens when you have, or you come, you talk, you talk trash about me, but you, you come up, the stuff you come up with, it's like, not like, oh, you're such a gay, like, it says, oh, your, your show sucks so much, you're terrible, uh, you stutter too much, or something like that, like, first thing you come up hating is a racist comment, which is crazy, everyone knows I am, I would never say nothing like that, no one believed you even when you said it, but we had to have the lawyer get the right thing to come out, and show it off, which I don't know why I'm talking about this, because I'm not supposed to be talking about this, because I'm not talking about that person anymore, I just got lost in my heated mind, we're talking about a totally different person, we're adding to the list of peeps, so, um, we're, we're gonna give them a name, I still, I don't think I thought of the name yet, who we're adding to the list of peeps, so you know what happens when you, <sighs> It's so sad, but when you you try to screw over the Chris Peep show and have no respect for all of my sub, my great subscribers that deserve a good pro wrestling show and they deserve the utmost respect and you don't respect them, you know what happens when you do that to the Chris Peep show? I found out. I figured out the name, guys. I finally figured out the name that I'm going to substitute for the real name that is the definition of an asshole on Twitter. So, how am I going to do this? So, here's the name, guys, to substitute for the person. So, anal, like as in anal sex, anal, anal. You just made the list. Anal, you just made the list. There it is, guys. Anal made the list. This is not the real person's name. This is a fictitious made-up name. I don't know who it is. It's just we needed a name to say the definition of it. being an asshole on Twitter. I can only think of anal. There it is, guys. Just like the page anal audio we have on Streamlabs. I'll show it to you right now so you know what that is. So you know what kind of anal I'm talking about. If you donate 369, you'll get this. And this is the anal I'm talking about. Hey, baby. So, Oops. I'm in the bathroom again, and I'm practicing again. So, here's the first job. That's that's the that's the anal I'm talking about, guys. That was it right there. That's just the start. Right that's there, just the right? start. Just pa to make it a little bit. Pa big before I put it in. Paige just wanted mm -hmm. to make it a little big before this she put it in. This is a desk donation so, for dollar. <laughs> that was it, guys. That was the anal I was talking about. Anal, you have made the list of peeps, and I just typed it in, man, well, I typed it in a little earlier, so I had it ready as the punchline, we had the punchline, so, it's not Paige's anal, but it is anal, anal, you just made the list, you just made the list, the list of heaps, type it in, man, I'm gonna add someone new to the next week, um, it's either gonna be on the, call in, guys, uh, why am I still talking, the phone line is open. Call in. I did that so we could get going with the show. Um, Jake is out. He's going to do the pillow wrestling match. Jake, Jake, do not make it. Do not make it weird for me, Jake. Um, Shamir Blount said Bliss versus Ni Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax versus Emma versus Banks versus Bailey in a fatal five way. Who else can we add? I think Tamina and uh, Lana are on SmackDown. I was going to say them too, but who else we have? We have um, who else we have as women on Raw? I, you said it earlier. Um, let's see what else you guys are saying in the chat while I added someone new to the list of peeps tonight. Um, fic fix fictitious character right there. It was a made up name. But it was just like Paige's donation for 369. Hijack the show. All right, guys, call in. There it is. Oh, I think it's Arcane. What is good? It's Arcane, right? Yeah, it's Arcane. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, man? What'd you think of the fict fictitious name I made? Yeah, oh, perfect. <laughs> and that exactly what I was looking for. So, uh, so yeah. So um, that that led to an interesting weekend for me as well. Um, so uh, the the uh, anal, you know, he was going to he wanted to stay in this little tight little ball, 
You know, and he don't want to stay in this tight little ball and be all kind of off to himself. And then, you know, uh, I I was the little uh, vibrator that opened him up. <laughs> oh, man. It, yeah, it made... And, and it, you, you had the batteries for the vibrator, too. And it made the <laughs> farting noise, which I just made. <laughs> exactly. Um, but, uh, no... So, so uh, I think I think you know, um, I tried to talk to Anal, but and he seemed like a, a genuine guy, a genuine uh, straight up guy. But man, trying to put a mask over Anal, you know, it's kind of hard to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with I, you. And it, uh, I mean. Um... That was the weird thing. It was just I, I thought he he was such a good friend and everything. I thought it would never happen, but it was such an extreme. It kind of scares me. So I don't want to talk too much about it. If you guys don't know, you can watch yeah. the video about it. But if you want to just say your last thing about it and then tell me what you thought about Raw. Yeah. So um, I, I am I am uh, done with it as well. So I uh, uh, it, it, he. <laughs> He acted like I didn't know anything about it, and he was like, "Why are you mad now?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah." I, about Raw tonight, okay. I, I wasn't anything other than uh, Braun Strowman, uh, the Nia Jax. Uh, there there were some uh, cool parts during the match that I just thought it was kind of funny where she was trying where, where Alexa Bliss was trying to run away from Sasha Banks and ran right into Nia. That was hilarious. I'm sorry. That's that's just I'm slapstick. I love slapstick guy, you know, I'm a slapstick guy. So uh that was hilarious. And um that's why I like Broman th- or bro, bro Braun Strowman throwing um Enzo into the ring. That was funny too. Oh, that was great. so. Yeah, so um, that was really the only thing I liked about this show tonight. I mean, there was, it was completely lackluster for me. It's like they just decided, oh well, football's going to be some ratings. Uh, there's really no use to even try. Yeah, I got that feeling. I got that impression too, a little bit, that they didn't really try at all. Which I, I'm thinking to myself, maybe, like, do you think JD might be right? Maybe they will have Cena on SmackDown tomorrow night. Um, no, I, I don't know. I don't know why they would have him on SmackDown. I mean, I would just say because. I didn't feel tonight like they hyped up for No Mercy tonight, like with Jason Jordan winning. Like, I don't see them, they hyped it up. Maybe they could, I don't know if they're going to realize that they missed missed the mark tonight and then try to promo it really good tomorrow night. Okay, uh, so, so you know what they've done? They really have missed the mark for about the last three weeks of trying to get this, uh, the matches even you know, coordinated for no mercy. I mean, the only ones that I know of that are going on are the title matches. Yeah, that's and, true. And uh, it was a Finn versus <laughs> Bray, uh, Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. Again. That's, that's the only one that I know. Yep, all over again, the same match, except it's not going to be the demon. It's going to be Finn Balor as the man and man versus man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's dumb. I mean... <laughs> It's you know it's like oh <laughs> we're Bray Wyatt's like you know I can't beat the Demon Man so come at me just as fan yeah because yeah we, <laughs> <laughs> we know that's gonna we know that you know now obviously you know why it's gonna win now so that's that that was a setup which is does that mean it's gonna now have to be a third match which like they're in, <laughs> they're in like limbo exactly hell freaking, that's where they're at it's freaking crazy. <laughs> Helen they needed to bring back. They need to bring back the Inferno match. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so, true. So, so the, uh, the 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 reason that they have sit sit there and they have just prolonged and prolonged and prolonged and try to keep it going, try to keep it going. It's it really they they should have 
hit gangbusters here at this go home show. And they showed too many promo, uh, too many like vent, vin, how you say vin, vignettes, 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 yeah. vignettes. Yes. That's all they showed and commercials. I was so bored of the show. It was crazy. Yeah. There was a lot less match. Well, not a lot less, but there was less matches. There was more like video packages, like you said, and there was way more commercials too. It seemed like they really gave up. You're right about that. So, yeah, I mean, that's why they kind of had the, the Nia Jax and Bliss right up front is to try to get that before the football game started. I just, I was just like, oh, this is going to be one of those days. Yeah, and it, <laughs> yeah, and it was weird because, like I said, I, I read on cable it said championship, but then it wasn't, you know. Right. So, I mean, whenever I, I went to WWE because I wanted to know if it was a championship because you asked that on Twitter. So I went to WWE and it said singles match. Okay, that usually doesn't mean title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that on WWE too. Um, so I mean, so what do you, what do you think? We have SmackDown. We have Corbin versus Styles tomorrow night for the United States Championship. Do you think SmackDown's going to end up being the better show again this week? Well, of course, I think it will. I mean, they don't have to compete against football, so. Um, you know, it's not going to be this jumbled, thrown together mess as we see Raw every week for the past four weeks. It seems like, and that that's a good point exactly. And it for some reason, it's seeming like they're going to try to throw all their eggs in uh, Tuesday Night SmackDown's basket, possibly the No Mercy eggs, um, because the way they didn't do it tonight, it really makes me still think that they're going to hype up No Mercy on SmackDown tomorrow night, like since they have a better chance with people watching SmackDown than Raw tonight, you know? Right. So um, a little thing about, uh, you know, I wanted to say about Corbin, was that I think they're trying to, I mean, he's still in deep water with them. So I think AJ Styles is going to pull it out you know, tomorrow. So, I mean, he's not going to beat him. Oh, yeah. But but um, he he had some, uh, I don't know if you've shown, uh, had this on your show, but they were having a um, concussions like seminar from this doctor from WWE. And as you may know, that Corbin used to be an ex-football player, yeah. and he's now he's involved in that lawsuit, that concussions lawsuit. So um, he kind of stepped up and said, "I think you're kind of full of crap, and this is really what's going down." They're trying to, you know, put it all under the rug and and and, and put a nice little cover over top of it, so they they can keep viewers, okay. keep fans. And so um, the WWE said, and he he did this during the seminar. So it wasn't like he waited till after the seminar was done. He did it during the seminar and like destroyed the whole thing, and just lit it up in flames. You know, burn it down. Exactly uh, what Gorbin did. I'll play it for you quick. Hold on. Burn okay. it down. There it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's what he did during that. Uh, they're in a seminar. So I, <laughs> that's why he's in the hot water again. He cannot keep his mouth shut. So you think he's going to so, get like injured, injured, and never see him again? No, I, mean, I think they still want him to be relevant. Um, I think that uh, they are just trying, they're going to give this guy a lot of chances. Uh, do, uh, it's up to him whether he wants to shut up and be a somebody that's going to be a star in the WWE, it's up to, to really him. Yeah. Uh, I think they, they're still trying to push him. I think they should have gave up already, but, I mean, I understand what you're saying. And they, If they're giving him another match, they're obviously trying to push him a little more. So what you, – if you can say on SmackDown, what big – what other big dude would replace him as a big guy, right? He's a big guy, tall guy. Get better in the ring. I don't to, know. To go against Styles for the United States Championship? A uh, big guy, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say Nakamura, but he's not a big guy. Or uh, right. Bob, uh, Bobby Roode. Well, Bobby, Ro Bobby Roode hasn't built up that thing. <laughs> and here, here's where you and I disagree, right? I mean, Bobby Roode, don't worry. Bobby Roode will get his time. Uh, there's no, there's no, uh, this, uh, you know, um, I can't wait. What do I, I can't wait. Anymore. I know. 
I know. Right. Yeah. So he'll get his time. Yeah. I he'll be glorious. So. I hope it's going to be a glorious show tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, the, I mean, if you saw Starcade, you're right. He's getting his, his match against Dolph Ziggler to set him up to be, uh, you know, going up in the rankings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I know what you're saying now. Um, is it Starcade WCW? Or was? Yeah, so they're. Yeah, so what they're doing is they're trying to uh, store up some, some, uh, some more because they're, they're they know that their pay per view names are stale, so they're trying to use old pay per view names from WCW to try to make things interesting. They haven't had Starcade in over was it uh, either a decade or twenty years? I mean, it was like it's it's been a while, right? Uh-huh. So that's why they're doing it. They're bringing so they had. Uh, what was it? It was Halloween Havoc, Starcade. I'm not sure Bash at the Beach was one of them, but th- there was there were several uh, uh, WCW names that they wanted to reuse yeah. for future pay per views. Yeah, actually, I heard about that now that you mentioned it. Um, so, but what are people doing? So people are coming up with like dream matches that they want to see on Starcade and posting it. Like that's not it's not WWE no, posting no. it. No, man, I tell you what, this is crazy. So the Greensboro Coliseum, where Star K is going to happen. Um, hold on, hold on. They, hold on, we have some Anal, there's only one word to describe you, and I'm going to spell it for you. Yeah. Yes. P-U-N-K-A-S-S-B-I-T-C-H. There's only one, there's only three, one word to describe you. P U N K B I T C H A S S. Thank you, Shamir Bland, with the hundred dollar donation on top of it. Damn, bro, you cannot be the only one donating. You are crazy. I have, uh, you're the man, bro. Um, sorry, Arcane, but it, he's hitting these glorious donations. We have to stop the show for them. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, uh, if you want to yeah, just so fin- I- finish up your final thought, um, I know we were talking about Starcade quick. If you want to finish that up, and then we'll yeah. have Shamir call in right after you. Sure. Um, the Greensboro Coliseum actually had their own tweet and tweeted out the card, the entire card. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And they listed who was champion, who it, they li- and it's like they ruined everything. It's it, it, it's pretty bad. I, mean, I I was like, wow. And they even said at the bottom, uh, featuring Hardy Boys, Rock and Roll Express, and Ricky Steamboat. I'm like, what? Wow. So, so they, someone was probably really mad and tried to screw WWE over. I, I don't know, but it, I think they're just trying to sell tickets because it's 11.25. If, if my calendar is correct, that is on a Saturday. Oh really? Yeah, eleven twenty-five is on a Saturday. Yeah. But when I'm, have they ever had a pay per view on a Saturday? They've done like when they were live in Japan, the Beast in the East. I think they did on a Saturday, and they also did uh, one Styles won at Madison Square Garden. The United States Championship was that a Saturday? They do it every once in a while. It's very rare though. But that's a pay per view on a sa- on a Saturday, and so. That that show that you're talking about of uh, that was in Japan. Yeah, that was they're like hours ahead of us. So when we watched it, it may it was already Sunday there. Oh, okay. So they had on a Sunday. <laughs> uh, so it was Sunday. I hear what you're saying. <clears throat> um. So that's uh, all right. I appreciate you telling me all that. Yeah. Now I'll have to check that out a little more now. Um, is there anything else you wanted to add? Because I want to take Shamir in as the last caller tonight. Yep. Uh, I just want to do a shameless plug on my channel. So uh, I have a YouTube channel going on. It's it's uh, at Arcane360 as well on YouTube. And uh, I'm having the Extreme Rules pay-per-view for our eFed. So, um, again, if you know you guys want to, uh, to, to get into the eFed, just have to message me on Twitter at Arcane360, um, and and I will, I'll even put it up on stream. You're live creating your character that you decided, and so uh, we're having our pay per view this weekend, Extreme Rules, um, and it's going to be awesome. 
I can't wait for it. I can't wait to even to stream it. So, but it's going to be very, very fun and awesome. Yes, I do my own commentary as well. Yes, Arcane has been doing them. Arcane has been killing it. It is awesome how he has it set up. He has the whole peep show set up. He has me in it. He has Jay Hudson. He even has Caleb in it. Oh my God! Um, Caleb's going for the title this week, this Sunday. <laughs> Crazy, Caleb's the man in in this uh, this game. And then I'm going against the Miz in Hell in a Cell, right? Yep, that's going to be crazy as well. Nice guy. So definitely listen to Arcane, follow him on Twitter, and go to his YouTube at Arcane360. And the, you know, we'll have, he's going to have the live pay per view. You're not going to want to miss it on YouTube, guys. Um, all right, Arcane, I appreciate calling in, man. I appreciate the support. Hey, yeah, just uh, one quick thing. Are you doing your review show on Friday and Saturday or Saturday? Because I just don't, I don't want to step on you. Um, right? Oh, okay. Um, I really haven't figured it out yet. Um, I'm not positive. I'll let you know probably by tomorrow if it's going to be fr okay. Friday or Saturday. Yeah. I, okay, yeah, just let me know. I'll let you know as soon as I figure out what I'm going to do with that. All right, thanks, man. All right, thanks, Arcane. Talk to you later. See you. Bye. Yeah, talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys, that was Arcane360. Yeah, definitely. He, he's actually pretty damn good with uh, WWE 2K17, and he, he, like, has it all set up. It's freaking awesome. You can get – he'll he'll make yourself into the game, which is great. Um, you know, if you've never played or you don't have the game, um, it's pretty much like playing the game, um, except you don't have a controller in your hand. You know, you tell Arcane what you want to happen, and it happens. It's pretty damn cool and i've never got into the the video the wrestling video games that much before but um i've never had the money really to buy it so if you're, if you're that case you know do that um shamir blount the hundred dollar glorious donation shamir you are the final person to call in to the live chris peep show tonight you will end the show um I have to let you end the show. I don't know if you're still in there. Let's see what's going on in the, the live chat room. I mean, that's two hundred, three hundred dollars in donations from Shamir Blount. I mean, that is, oh my God, that is awesome. Uh, you have no idea how, like, this is gonna help me so much. Um, I appreciate every single dollar of it, and, and you know, money's hard to come by nowadays. You know, people are working their ass off. What is happening, Shamir? Thanks for the donations. No problem. I, I long story short on that one, I don't like assholes. <laughs> yeah, punk ass biatches too. Um yeah, I mean I, I appreciate I was just saying I appreciate it. You are the man. Um you know, at whatever you want to say, you just try not to say the name and then um and then well, I don't know, what'd you think of Roy? Did you fall asleep during Roy, you said? Uh, for like the fifth time in a row. <laughs> oh man, what what? So it was. What what do you think of it? I think that 115 losing streak for Kurt Hawkins. That graphic was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty damn funny. Oh. I th I think you got the perfect snapshot for like he's the face. He's the look on his face says, "What do I have to do?" <laughs> yeah. That that's it's a pretty funny losing streak thing. At least it keeps him a little relevant. Maybe he can force a disqualification victory. <laughs> or a double count out or something. Something. <clears throat> um what what so what would you rate Raw tonight and what other things did you like about it? Um I mean uh, what did you think of the ending? Did you uh, I don't know. Well, I give I would give it a four at best. Um, I like that they finally let Nia Jax get her hands on Alexa Bliss and not let her run away. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I think you're right. Terrible booking on Bailey's return. Yeah, they should have um, at least had her come back. You know, after the match at No Mercy, have a pay per view return. You know. Yeah, I mean, like, or at least as a, at least as a heel or something or something or something. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, I think Sasha is going to turn on her maybe at No Mercy, and uh, Bailey will never be healed. Well, I thought the Usos would never be healed, but you tell what happened on that. <laughs> that sorry, yeah, that's true, and that they're actually not doing too bad as heel. I mean, you, you got. I mean, nobody thought Emma would be a heel, especially when she hooked up with Santino. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's not bad as a heel either. Um, what do you think about the Miz playing heel tonight? Um, and what do you think of Jason Jordan being the contender now? Am I the only one that's starting to think that the Miz refuses to have his promo scripted? Oh yeah, the Miz is one of the few people that could say whatever he wants and get away with it to Vince, which is crazy. Because like he shoots his, I'm pretty sure he shoots his promos off the cuff, and like like they're always fire. Yeah. Yeah, he. I think they're always fire. I know JD said he hated them. Uh, I guess I don't know if you joined in, but in the beginning, JD called in said he hates the Miz. How he has to have the Miz Taraj help him and all this kind of like JD, a, a heel promo. JD, you're supposed to hate the Miz. That's how the system is supposed to work. Yeah, he's doing his job if you hate him. So I I think the Miz is doing great work, but I mean. I don't know if Jason Jordan. I think I think Elias Sampson would have been better facing him for the championship at No Mercy. I I think they're trying to bring back the 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 bastard child angle again. Yeah, that's what it. It seems like they're trying to stick with that again, like you said again. And then, but it also seems now that they're separating Jason Jordan from Kurt Angle a little bit, where they're gonna do the. You know, they they said they were gonna have Jason Jordan said, "I lied. You're not my real father," and then have that end the situation. You know. Hashtag heel turn. That's it. Yeah, I mean, he's almost heel as it is now, though. I mean, that's the only reason they would break up American Alpha the way they did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, I mean, I think Gable's got the better end of the stick out of that, though. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think we have American Alpha 2.0. Oops, sorry, sorry, Jake Hudson. I blocked you by accident. I just tried. Uh, I unbanned you. I banned you by accident, Jake. My bad. Um. You think they're going to get back together again and have 2.0? No, I'm saying that Benjamin and Gable are basically American Alpha 2.0. Oh. <laughs> um, what about the primetime players, too? That would be nice if Darren Young came back. Well, yeah, that would be nice, which is why it's not going to happen, because Vince never does anything nice. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's up with Vince lately, except for him getting headbutted on SmackDown last week. <laughs> Yeah, I actually didn't get to watch SmackDown live, so I watched, just watched the highlights on WWE.com. And I'm like, well, um, Kevin Owens, do you know what happens when you attack the boss? <laughs> Stephanie comes back. And now because Stephanie is on Vince's side and Vince is on Shane's side, you have the whole McMahon family united. And do you know what happens when you have the entire McMahon family united against you? Because when Stephanie's mad at you, Triple H is mad at you. You know the guy who literally hand delivered the Universal title for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's um, that's setting it up for Owens versus Triple H, and Triple H would probably destroy Owens. You're absolutely right. Um, and then I heard a lot about that. I heard that originally um, Stephanie McMahon was supposed to come running out with a white towel to wipe his head off with the blood. And then Vince called an audible and said, don't bring the towel out. So that's what happened with that. And then I also heard that Vince cut his forehead and then they put makeup on top of it. So as soon as Owens hit the makeup, the his cut would open up. And people, people have been getting in trouble in WWE. If you slice your face in WWE, you'll get fined, you'll get fired, but Vince McMahon goes and does it himself, but he's allowed to do it. They set that up. It's called blading. Yep, that's it. Like when when Triple H allegedly broke Roman Reigns' nose, it was, it was blading. Yep. 
and only a few certain people could get away with it. And if if you're not the few certain people, then uh, you get fired or fined or whatever, you know. But you know, I don't know. I mean, you, you, SmackDown's probably gonna be much better tomorrow than Raw was tonight, right? Oh, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much been every week now. But I, you know, I would, I would just hoping it would be a little better since we have no mercy this Sunday. Yeah, dude. I don't know what, like, like they seem to think that a go home show means that Raw's just gonna go home and go to bed. <laughs> uh, like, none of the fans show up at the stadium. Just go home. <laughs> Like, might as well have all dark matches. Yeah, I know. I have at least have Ty Dillinger and come out and wait. Ty Dillinger actually, he fit, he's on SmackDown. I keep getting him mixed up. Um, yeah, we had Bobby the Brain Heenan. They had all the memorials for him today. He passed away, so that sucked. Yeah, crushing news there. I was at work when I found that out. Um, he was back in the day. I was I was watching all the clips from the back of the day, and the WWE was so much different back in the day than they are now. They used to have like such like a like a stage production, and like they acted like it was a movie set and stuff. Like it, they were making a movie, you know. Yeah. But na- nowadays, it's it's like they're making a web series. It's it's crazy. Quite irritating, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, I don't know. I, at least we have SmackDown to watch. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah. Do you want to work? T- yeah, I work tomorrow night. Well, guess who's changing the TV at work then? Oh, uh-huh. you have to work tomorrow night now? Yeah, but uh, like I said, guess who's going to be changing the channel on the TV at work? Yeah, you got to have SmackDown on. We have a title match, and um, I know they stream it online too. If you you can watch it on your phone too, I think some people on YouTube do it. Um, Arcane said Bobby Heenan is the greatest of all time of the managers. Yes, he was. Um, yeah, I mean that that was pretty much the show tonight. If you have anything you wanted to add on or say or talk about whatever you want to do. You are the main guy, the main caller. I wish other people would donate. Um, you can't let Shamir Blount be the only one who donates. So get your donations in, guys, before the show ends. Um, and, yeah, go go for it, whatever whatever else you want to talk about, man. It's it's all you. Um, Arcane, I need you to add me to your e because I think that would be awesome. Um... Just, again, follow Chris on Twitter. If you see you know who on Twitter, give him a good big old fuck you for me. I um, mean, just, I guess, keep hating Raw as long as it deserves to be here, which I think is going to be for a good, I don't know, two, three, four, five years. <laughs> oh, man, five years. I hope to God not. I hope it's more like uh, five weeks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, also, Paige is back at the Performance Center, if you didn't know. Yeah, I heard I heard something like that, too. She's ready to go. Is she going to come back? To, she'll probably come back to SmackDown, though, right? I was thinking they are going to put her in NXT first. No, I don't think they'd, they'd put her in NXT. Yeah, you think? Uh, she already went through NXT. I don't think she'd do it again. Yeah, I, it's just that uh, you... I think the only thing that kind of propelled Paige's um, Paige's career to begin with was AJ, who's no longer there. So they're going to have to find a different angle for her. Because you got to remember, the the women's division really is revolutionized. Uh, Paige is part of that, but you got but like she, there's some things where she's just not, she doesn't fit in anymore. So they may use NXT as a bit of time to kind of figure out where they want to place her. Yeah, that make that kind of makes sense. Plus, I know they're not really that happy with her dating Alberto Del Rio too. So maybe they they'll do it as a punishment as well. You know. Well, that uh, good luck with that WWE. Yeah, definitely. 
<coughs> supposedly uh, he's coming. He's gonna be. He was suspended for 30 days from Impact, so he should be showing up any day back on Impact soon. Uh, Alberto El Patron, they call him in TNA. Yeah, and WWE's gonna lose Goldust soon too. Uh, and he's gonna join his brother, maybe. I mean, I feel bad. I think maybe, uh, you know, Gold. I think he should have won, or at least ha- Bray Wyatt had win, uh, lose by disqualification. You know. I'm about sick and tired of um, uh, 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 Bray Wyatt winning. I um, yeah, I'm. I'm tired of him winning. I'm also tired of the Balor versus Wyatt feud. I'm actually tired of Wyatt altogether, really. <laughs> Go back to Husky Harris. The only way that Wyatt would be uh, would work in Raw is if Strowman or not even Strowman. You could leave Strowman in the main title. If um, which I've heard rumors that they're coming back. If Luke Harper and Eric Rowan came back to make the Wyatt family again, that's the only way Wyatt will be relevant. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, you haven't seen either either Wyatt or um, Rowan or Harper. Yeah, those guys in a while, but they're still on on the roster. Yeah, I saw something on I think Twitter that they said they were. I think they might have been uh, at the Performance Center, too, ready to get called up. And then I know Darren Young's been ready to be called up for a while now, too, you know? Yeah, it's just that they, I hope they time it right, of all things, first. I know. They they could really mess up someone's career by not timing it right like they've been doing. I mean, what, what was the point of having Bailey come out tonight? Please explain. So they could fit one more person into the fatal five way. What is it? Fatal six way now? No, it's a, it's a fatal five way now. Oh. <laughs> I would have liked I would have liked to see Bailey come tearing down the ramp on Sunday with a kendo stick. And yeah, that would be the yeah that uh, I kept saying she they should have kept her to come back at No Mercy, and if she came back as a kendo stick as heel, that would be insane. That would be crazy. I mean, everyone would think she's going after Alexa Bliss because of their kendo stick match a few months ago. And then, bam, there goes Sasha. Yep, that would be perfect. I I think, they, I think they're going to make Sasha be the heel out of that because they want to still sell the Bailey hugs to the kids, you know? They don't want to break the little kids' hearts. Aww. Yeah, it's a, that's why it's a PG show, and they're trying to sell to kids, which kids aren't even their demographic. Kids are like like seven percent of their audience. The most of the audience is from like twenty five to thirty five. You know. Yeah, like just, 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 just pull yourselves together. Yeah, at least raw for now. They should pull themselves together. I agree with you. SmackDown's been pretty pretty good though. I can't complain about SmackDown. Yeah, I mean SmackDown's been forced to pick up the bill on this one on on it for quite a while. Yeah, that's a hundred percent true. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to end the show in a couple minutes. I just wanted you to give you the opportunity to tell everyone what you think. And you always have good points. And I mean, the donations are so glorious and amazing. I, I appreciate them so much, man. Like, I, I, I couldn't thank you more. I thank you so much for the donations. I really appreciate it. Don't think twice about it, man. Um. Yeah, you're my number one boy on there, on the the good list, the peeps of peeps list. You're on there. Shamir Blount, number one on the peeps of peeps, guys. So he's a perfect role model for everyone out there. <laughs> I wouldn't say perfect, but uh, but he's a good I one. think we're pretty close. <laughs> there he is, the perfect 10. <laughs> So, all right, yeah, let me know anything else you wanted to say. I'm going to uh, close the phone line in a second, and um, I'll end the show in a couple minutes. But, uh, Arcane, just make sure you um, DM me about these e so I can get involved in this, because uh, they sound cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Arcane, we'll, um, we'll, 
I'll tell Arcane to contact you. I'm sure he did already, but it actually is really cool what Arcane does. You'll you'll like it, and you'll be able to watch anytime you can get a chance. So it'll be good for you. Yeah. All right. So I'll try and call into the show tomorrow. All right, man. So I appreciate everything, man. You are the man, and um, hopefully we'll uh, hear from you tomorrow night. Ten four. All right. Later. Bye. All right, guys, I'm closing the phone line. Let's move the thing over. Um, there it is. You heard it right from Shamir. Um, he, 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 told, he told it how it is in WWE. He, he, he's, a, he's a real guy. He's, he spits everything he, he talks is true. And he, he'll tell Raw and Vince right to their face, listen, Raw has been terrible. It's going to be terrible. You need to really fix it. And, you know... I know the show's a little different because we don't complain the whole time. We we like to go over what the things we liked about Raw tonight was. Um, just for the people from WWE who are watching right now, we want to give them feedback so they know what to do and what not to do, um, which it seems like they haven't been listening too much lately. Um, you know, when the first, when the show first started, they were listening a lot. They made a lot of things happen that came straight from this show, guys. I promise you the stuff we couldn't make up that were said on the show, um, came true, came to fruition, came to light. So they are watching the Chris Peep show on YouTube, guys. So, um, everything you guys say, this, this channel is giving everyone a voice, all the real pro wrestling fans. I forgot. I got to turn my mic up after <coughs> Google Hangouts because Google Hangouts likes to play with my mic levels, turn them down to 94. Oops. That's going to be too high. Go back to 98, change my level. So, yeah, this is the show for the peeps, by the peeps, guys. I do it for, you know, well, you know, all the pro wrestling fans, guys. Just a place to come hang out after Monday Night Raw Live. Uh, we just we just did the, you know, the WWE Monday Night Raw Review show tonight. It was September 18th, 2017, guys. Um... Sunday night, we have the No Mercy pay-per-view. No Mercy 2017, we talked about it. Um, I want to say, I'll let you guys know, I want to say it's going to be Friday night. Yeah, I think it's going to be Friday night, but I'll, I'll double check with you guys that I'm going to do the live No Mercy preview, predictions, full card, and all the odd betting odds show. Um, and it's a call-in show. It's live where you guys can call in, let us know who you think's going to win at No Mercy. I'm going to go over all the matches, all the betting odds, all the predictions and previews. And um, you're going to want to tune in because a lot of the times the predictions are spot on, especially when I have all these amazing pro wrestling fans from all around the world calling in and letting us know what they think is going to happen. Um, we pretty much get it right every pay-per-view, guys. So you don't want to tune in for that and be involved in that. So I think Friday I'm going to do it. This Friday, right before No Mercy. So I'll post something, guys. Follow me on Twitter if you have not followed me yet so you can see what's going on. I'll also post a video on YouTube for the YouTubers, guys. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, guys... Go down in the in the go down below. Hit the subscribe button live. It'll come up live right now before we leave. Smash the like button down below, guys. Show me your support for the Chris Peeps channel on YouTube, guys. Smash the like button. Let's try to get 20 likes tonight. Um, the live stream lab donations now is your last chance to hijack the show. Um, Shamir Blount has been very, very, very generous with the donations. Um, bailing me out of a crappy situation with the YouTube show. Um, I, he is amazing. He's the man. I mean, freaking, that's glorious. That's, I'm like speechless. That's how crazy it was. We still have the donation goal on there. So anyone else who wants to help help Shamir Blount out, guys, throw a dollar donation. Hijack the show right before it's done. Um, but follow me on Twitter at Chris Peeps. Um, Arcane on YouTube. Um, his eFed show. Uh, you know, get ready for that, guys. Maybe we'll get some more new people joining in on that. Um, 
Hopefully we'll get uh, Shamir Blount made in that one. That would be pretty cool. Um, that was it, guys. That was the freaking live Monday Night Raw review, the Chris Peep show. All the HD highlights, results, reactions, review, Raw, uh, September 18th, 2017. Tomorrow night after SmackDown Live at 10.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, directly after SmackDown, we will have the live SmackDown review show. SmackDown has actually been the A show lately, it, and the review show has actually been the A show as well, guys. So if you liked this review tonight, the Raw review, you're going to love the SmackDown review tomorrow night. You're going to love the preview and predictions on Friday night. I might as well just say Friday night now. If it changes, I'll let you know, but Friday night. And then live Sunday night after... No Mercy at 11.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Directly after No Mercy, we'll have the live pay-per-view review show. And the pay-per-view shows take off a lot. I mean, if you see 400 people watch a raw, the Raw review, there'll be usually five to six times the amount on the pay-per-view review. Like, literally thousands of people. Uh, at least a thousand people will be live for the pay-per-view show so jake i'll talk to you about the mod um you've been doing good lately you've hung out in the chat you, eventually you're going to get the moderator probably although when you were mod with the with the arcane's uh efed you kind of went a little crazy with the button so yes you, you, there's a possibility you will be a mod one day jake hudson i'll give it to you but for now, we're gonna. Arcane is the main guy. He's always joining in there. I couldn't do it without any. I couldn't do it without any of you guys, but especially you guys who who are live in the chat. Um, and if you're just joining in new, thank you for joining in, guys. I'm ending the show. I'm gonna go smoke some cigarettes and relax, and watch Diesel Brothers. That's what's on Monday for me. And I will see you guys tomorrow night after SmackDown Live, 10:01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on YouTube. Chris Peeps. Subscribe, smash the like button. You can do uh, PayPal donations in the description down below, guys. Um, follow me on Twitter at Chris Peeps. I'll follow you back. Tweet at me, guys. Share this video. Tell your friends. Retweet it. Like it. Let's get the show freaking taken off, guys. Let's get these donations popping. And I will see you all tomorrow night, guys. Thank you for the support. Peace out, guys. And I'll play my outros, and then we're out.